This is considered Bangkok's best dim sum restaurant. The chef is from Hong Kong and it's Michelin star or Michelin. He's got the Michelin stars. He's right behind me. He's opened it. I've seen many reviews on YouTube, but I don't know how it is. Maybe it's just bullshit. Let's see. Let's eat. Okay. Now this place right here. Okay. Tuang Dim Sum by Chef Yip. So I was a bit wrong. It's actually on the other side of the street. So I have to cross this. What? And go straight there. Tuang Dim Sum. It's bigger than I thought actually. It looks like a small like street food place. Okay, let's go. Let's take a rest up here. Check the view. And let's continue. Yeah, guys, it's uh, a lot bigger than what I've seen in other YouTube videos. I don't even know if the right is the right place, but let's see how the food is. There's not that many stuff here, or staff are, but not, not many guests. It was really full in the other videos, and a much smaller place. So let's see what we're gonna order. Okay, guys, so we're gonna have a look here. The prices are a lot more expensive than I thought. Look, look here, uh, we have 50 baht, 18 baht, 18 baht I thought, but yeah, 50 baht, 20 baht, some stuff, 12 baht, ice, 2 baht, drinking water in 12 baht. Luckily I bought my own, I hope I can drink it. So this is gonna be an expensive lunch for me, I, but yeah, let's see if it's worth it. Okay guys, so I ordered, I actually ordered water and ice because ah, it's still not that much, cost that much. So, but a lot of these things, I do not know what they are. So I started Googling and then they came with a different menu with pictures, look. So I ordered, let's see, this, Shangxi, Shangxi Xiaolong Bao, one of those, so there's three. And then one of these, steamed shrimp dumplings, hakao. And then I ordered steamed uh, shrimp dumplings, those. So three, so nine so far. Uh, not this, I don't like mushroom. One of these, teochew dumpling. So that is what I ordered. And I ordered one more thing. Let's see here if I had, I want to try these. Barbecue pork bun. Barbecue pork. So this is red pork. It looks really yummy. So, yeah. I actually should have ordered one more, like this custard, because I heard about it. But it's the same, yeah. I don't feel for that much sweet right now. Maybe later. So let's see when we get the food. So I got my food. It was really fast, so I think it's pre-made in one way. So here we have it all. You can see it's really warm. So, I'd, yeah. Uh, here you have the, those. Ooh, these. Wait, 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 wait. These are with mushroom. I ordered with... Uh, I ordered without mushrooms. <sighs> okay, hold on. I have to ask them. Okay, guys. So I got... Um, uh, like, I talked to three people first. They didn't understand English. And then I asked them if, I, if the fourth person, if it washed with uh, mushroom. And they said yes, because I could see big mushroom pieces. So I also asked them if I just could change it to something else. And then they said, yes, okay. So, but we're gonna try to start with this one now. So we're gonna start with these. Uh, I really don't know what they are. I hope you can see them. They look yummy. Mmm. Good flavor. I don't know if there's anything inside of them. We have to see here. Hold on. There's some filling that like some sauce. I don't really know which, but yeah. Okay. Let's try this one. It's like normal shrimps. And they're really crystal clear. Oops. I broke it. Sorry. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. This. They're really stuck. So this is the part of the dumpling and it was inside this one. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit now And it's stuck together with this one. So I'm gonna 
put this one. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stab it now. But I cannot even do that. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, good flavor, but I wanted like or actually not that much flavor, but. So let's see, this one is a whole one, you can see. I'm gonna dip it here. I hope you can see it in the soy sauce. And then I'm gonna put it in my mouth. But, mm. Hmm. The flavor is not what I thought, actually. Okay, let's try this one. This is uh, pork. This is pork. If you can see here, it's a pork. It's a bit open already. It means, looks like it's pork, but I don't know. I'm gonna try this, see if it's worth it. Mm. I don't know the flavor, it's not, it's like plain, everything is plain. It's not what I would expect from a Michelin star restaurant. Mm. Mm. Yeah, oh, now comes my new. Mm. Come, come. Okay. So now I got my new shrimps. Oh, they were really warm. So we're gonna see here. Well, I like it that they could exchange it because it sh if it's with mushroom, it should say so. But these are really warm, so I'm gonna eat them later. I'm gonna eat this one first, the first one I had, with some like sauce filling inside of them. I'm still gonna dip them in the soy sauce here, and then mmm. Um, I really don't know what kind of flavor that is. I'm gonna. Okay. Ooh, this one is really warm. I do not want to eat it yet. I guess I'm gonna... I can show you it. If it doesn't break when I try to take it. Okay, so here, this one. Everything is like real plain. But it's like... Mm, I hope it's not mushroom. Okay, it's not that warm. So I'm gonna dip it here in soy sauce. Hmm. So, three of these are kung, or three shrimp, and one is pork, mu, or mu. And this one was, was also yummy, but it was a bit too warm, so I'm gonna wait a bit. I'm gonna eat the pork one first. Because, uh, yeah, it's like, it's hard to, any flavor. No. Hmm. I don't think there's any flavor. I'm gonna try one thing now before I do anything. I'm gonna try the pork one here. Oh, this one. So this one is with barbecue pork. I had one of these. Uh, I don't know how much I paid in. Um, Terminal 21 in Asok. So I had one of these there. They have no, they have dumplings there too. The dumpling pieces cost seven baht each. So let's see. Can you see? Let's go for it. Mmm. -hmm. Look. And so, yeah. This one. Can you see? Mm. This one was interesting because the texture is completely different from when I had it at Terminal 21. But the flavor 
I cannot tell it's uh, I cannot tell it's barbecue. I have to try the bun here only. Yeah, it's tasteless. So let's dip it in the soy sauce. Maybe you should do that, I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Now we're gonna have the pork bun. The exchange one I had. I'm gonna see if it's worth it or not. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad. But I wanted some more salt. And the the soy sauce is really sweet. Uh, Swedish. Sweetish. Not Swedish. Mm. Most of the dumplings here cost 50 baht for three pieces. Like the price is not overpriced. I guess if you're gonna eat somewhere else, it's gonna be a lot more expensive, or you can even find maybe cheaper. Um, but I have one more place to try. I'm gonna show you that place. So let's. Hmm. This last piece was a bit more spicy. I don't know why. And also, they have peanuts. So if you're allergic to nuts, it doesn't say that. So you really need to be careful so you don't eat peanuts and you have to go to the hospital or die. We're now finished. Am I full? No. Could I eat more? Yes. Will I eat more? No. I just wanted to try this. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the, the grinded pork from the barbecue pork or the other pork gets stuck in my teeth. So, yeah. I don't even know what, what this is gonna cost me, if it's with the tax or not. So let's see here what I ordered. Uh, I ordered Shanghai Xiao Long Bao, 50 baht. Uh, steam shrimp dumpling Hakao, 60 baht. And then the other one, steam shrimp dumpling, 50 baht, that I didn't want to have because it was with um, mushroom. Because the other one, they actually says mushroom with mushroom dumpling. And then the... Um, oh. And then the Teochew dumpling, 50 baht, and then the Feng Shao instead. So it's gonna be like uh, 1 to 150 to 10 to 24, I think. No, 24 because uh, 244, 244 baht, I think. It's actually not that expensive if you compare to international standards. Here in Thailand, it's like. Uh, I, I don't know how to say it. Is more expensive, four times, four or five times more expensive than street food. And this is kind of like street food. So let's see if my 244 baht is correct or if it's wrong. Uh, so I'm just gonna finish up here with my water. So while we're waiting for the bail or to pay, we can check out the kitchen a little bit. Yeah. Bones making. Uh, good with a zoom here. So now let's zoom out. So boys and girls, I was correct. 244 baht. Oh, they have 
You can check this one out too. So, uh, yeah. And then you have prices. Now it's starting to get full. Ooh, the pink one looks nice. I think it's, I don't know, and that must be chocolate. I should try some of those sweets, but no, not this time. So, that's it. My final verdict. Was it worth it? Yes, it was worth, worth it. But I had much better uh, dim sum. Much, much, much better dim sum. It's like... Um, it's Bangkok, I cannot say it's overpriced, but at the same time, uh, you can perhaps have better dumplings for the same price. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite places later, and then I also have another place where I haven't been to in China, I heard of. So two, two dumpling places. One dumpling place that's like a franchise, I think, or a chain. And then another one right in Chinatown. What can go wrong in Chinatown, right? Dumplings, China. Oh, sorry. Dim sum. Have I been saying dumplings all the time? Maybe, so. yeah. Okay, until next time. Bye-bye.